team coverage tonight with KZI 9 News reporter Jillian Smuckler live in the studio. Jillian. Renee Brown says Oregon's strategy for reopening focuses on testing and tracing to diagnose those people who are sick and make sure they're isolated so they're not spreading it. She says testing should be available to any Oregonian showing symptoms and for people in vulnerable living settings like nursing homes and prisons. Finally, she announced the Be the Key plan, a plan to test 100,000 people randomly statewide to find out where the disease may be hiding and monitor at-risk populations. Brown says the state plans on adding 600 contact tracers for outbreaks, people who contact people who have been infected to make sure they're not spreading the virus. Some of those positions will be paid and others will be volunteers. OHSU will also create a team of tracers made up of medical students who are bilingual and bicultural to help communities who are specifically vulnerable to the virus. We know that tribes and communities of color are especially vulnerable to the virus. And we will make sure that we have the contract, contact tracing capacity to engage with these Oregonians in culturally specific ways. Brown says leaders of each hospital system in Oregon have agreed to work together to manage testing. She says the Oregon Health Authority will now give any patient they see with mild symptoms a test, something they weren't doing before, and they hope to test 15,000 people a week. Brown says her hope is that some rural counties with little to no cases and hospitalizations can begin the process of reopening as soon as May 15th. And coming up on KZI 9 News at 6, I'll tell you why Douglas County specifically was surprised to hear that. Reporting live in the studio, Jillian Smuckler, KZI 9 News.